Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 and 5 tutorial. So in today's video what we're going to be doing is creating a system in which the camera will start really high up in the sky and then it will slowly kind of move down towards where the player is and then the player can be controlled like normal. Now somewhere where you may have seen this is in Battlefield. I really like this effect and we're going to be going over how to set this up today. However I should mention this isn't multiplayer replicated, this is only for single player at the moment. So if I were to hit play I can show you what I'm going to make today. So the camera starts up in the sky and it's going to slowly just come in towards the player and then once we're at the player we can now obviously just move about with this normal camera like so and I've set up three different ones in the sky here so that one was the same I believe but it's basically just going to pick a random one and it will go in from there and you can have as many of these in your level as you want I've just picked three because that's what I wanted to do here like so. So this is what I'm going to be going over and creating today. And I've also got a lot of bushes in here as well as you can see. That's just purely so there's something else to look at while we're doing this. So I have a big open map. I think I've got nearly 200,000 bushes in here so it's incredibly overkill. But I just thought I don't need to go into too much detail. I'll just smack a load in and have it look quite nice. So this is what we've got today. And obviously you don't need that at all, I just thought I'd mention it. Uh, but this is what we're going over in creating today. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to actually create and set up our camera that's going to be in the sky. So to do that we're going to hit control space to open our content browser, right click and create a blueprint class, creating an actor and I'm just going to name this one map view or level view or top camera, whatever it is that makes the most sense for you and I'm going to open it up straight away. In here I'm just going to add in a camera, I'm just going to add a normal camera, you can do cine camera if you want but I'm just going to do a normal camera so the transition from this to the player camera is smooth and seamless and you can't tell it's changing cameras. All I'm going to do in here is then just rotate this on the Y to minus 45 so it's looking down at a 45 degree angle like so. You don't need to do this and you can put it to any angle you want but this is what I'm doing. And that's all we need to do in here. We just want a camera inside of a blueprint. So we can now close that straight away. What we'll do now is let's put these in the level. So what we can do is just drag one in and then just drag this up and be in the position where we want. For me, I'm going to put it at 5000 on the Z. You can obviously do this wherever you want, but that's going to work for me. I'm just going to move it back a little bit and then maybe rotate it so it's just pointing into the center of the map here as this is where I know the player is going to spawn. So I want it to just look in that general direction. Again, you can have this anywhere you want, looking anywhere you want, but for me, that makes the most sense. So that's what I want. I'm just going to duplicate this and then move it into another position as well. So I think something like that is going to be good for me. Maybe even change the angle it's looking at. So that one's obviously pretty far away, but it's going to be fine for me. I don't care too much about where they are. I'm just putting in multiple in here so you can see them working for multiple ones as well. So I think that is going to be fine. And I'll get one more and just move it all the way over here. Not quite there. Over here, like so. So I think this is going to be fine for me. I've now got them placed on my level, I've got four pointing into here like so. So now let's actually set up the code for spawning in onto these cameras and having them move in towards the player. And this is actually a lot more simple than you might expect. So what we're going to do is go to the level blueprint, so up here, open level blueprint. Then we're going to hold down P and left click to get event begin play. Now if you've already used it, right click, search for it, it should take you to it. Then you can hold down S, left click to get a sequence like so, connecting then zero into the code you already have, and then one into the code we're about to do. But as I've not already used it, I'm just gonna go straight off event begin play. Out of this, we're going to get all actors of class, with the actor class being our camera view, or our map view, I think I called it actually. Yeah, map view actor we just created. So whatever you named it, it's just the camera blueprint we just set up. Out actors of this, we're going to get a random, so we're just gonna search random, and we're going to get random array item. So what that's going to do is just pick a random camera or a random blueprint from our get all actors of class. Then we're going to right click get player controller and after this is going to be the node which is actually going to transition between the cameras. So we're going to come out of this and set view target with blend. Connecting that into the get all actors of class and the new view target going into the random. Now the blend time of this one we're going to leave as zero because what's happening is this one isn't actually transitioning between the two just yet, however it's the same node. This one is just 
making sure we are looking through the camera. So we want this to be zero, so it's instant. And again, we're going to look through a random camera. Then after this, we're going to hold down D, left click to get a delay. I'm going to set the duration to one second. This is just because I want to be looking through this camera for one second before we start moving into the player. You don't have to have this if you don't want it, and you can make this longer or shorter, but I think this one second here just gives a nice effect, which I had at the start of the video. Then what we're going to do is select the Get Play Controller and Set View Target with Blend, copy it and paste it, connecting it into the completed of the delay, making sure that again goes into Target like so, and then the new view target now is going to be Get Player Porn. So that is then just going to start going towards the player character. The blend time you can obviously set to whatever you want. I set mine to 5 seconds as I think that looks the best for me. So that's what I'm going to have it as. And we'll compile and save that. What you could do is maybe create some code so this time dynamically changes. So it always travels at the same speed. However I think keeping it as one static time makes the most sense. Because then the player is not having to wait longer or wait shorter depending on how far the camera is. It's always just going to take 5 seconds or whatever you set it up as, which I think just looks better for me personally. And that is now the code fully done, set up and working for us. You can obviously change some of these settings and customise it a bit if you wanted to, but for me this is going to work perfectly fine. So we can close this and hit play to test it out. You'll notice we're now spectating one of these cameras and it's going to go in towards where the player is standing and has spawned and we can now control using this camera perfectly like so. If we press play again, you'll notice this is now a different camera as it's just choosing a random one and it's now coming in over the course of 5 seconds to the player and we can now control using this camera as well. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do. We've set up a system in which we're going to have a camera spawning high up in the sky looking down on the map and that camera will then kind of smoothly transition down towards where the player is zooming in onto the map where we can then obviously control the player with the correct camera like so and this is again going to choose a random camera depending on where we want it to be from. So thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.